Everfine SPIC 300 Spectral Irradiance Colorimeter can realize the measurement of the spectrum, illuminance, colorimetric and photometric quantities, etc. With a series of international patented technologies, the instrument realizes excellent linearity in the measurement of wide dynamic range. Take out all the parts from box and check parts below. The main unit. Detector. Charger. USB cable. Software CD. Long press the SPIC 300 button and it will shows the startup screen, waiting a minutes, it shows the testing screen. Long press the switch on the top of the detector, the detector's indicator lights up and the detector starts up. If the indicator is red and orange, it means that the battery of detector is low. A charger needs to be connected for charging. Charging takes 5 to 6 hours. When the instrument needs to be shut down, long press the button on the side of the device. When the word power off appears on the screen, click it. At the same time, press and hold the button on the top of the detector until the indicator light goes out. After the device is turned on, we can start the test. Generally, after each switch on and off, we suggest to make zero. First, cover the detector and select setting zero setting menu and click start. Confirm and wait for the end of zero calibration. After a few seconds, next step click test setting to set the test parameters, usually it can be set by default. Next, we can start the test, remove the cover, place the machine at the position to be tested, click the normal measure, do a single test, and wait for a while, we can get the result, illuminance, color temperature, etc. Click the save symbol to save the current measurement data. Click the parameter bar, change the value. In some cases, due to the influence of some operating conditions, the instrument allows to separate the detector from the main part, remove the detector and place it in the test position. The main part will automatically change the connection mode with the detector. It may take a little time in the middle. You can confirm the connection status through the connection symbol above the operation interface. After the connection is completed, you can test normally. The instrument can also support timing test and comparison test. Click file management here is the original test data that has been saved before. Select one and click the PDF icon, the report can be previewed in PDF format. Click file open to open the data. Click share icon to send the report in PDF format through email, enter the receiving email and click send. Due to the use of email, the device is required to access the internet network. Select setting system setting menu turn on Wi-Fi, connect the available network, enter password and connect the network. The data can be sent normally. Open the software CD, find the folder SPIC 300 and click setup.exe. Follow the guidance and complete the software installation. Connect the instrument and computer with USB cable. When connecting for the first time, you need to confirm the device driver, check whether the driver of Android device ADB interference already exists in the device manager of the computer. Most Win 10 systems will automatically install the driver when connecting. If not, you can choose to update the driver and specify the driver path for installation. The driver is under the Android ADB USB driver folder of the CD. After installing the driver and software, start the software, select setting system setting menu, select the USB connection mode, click the add button to add a device, and click login to complete the connection between the device and the computer. Place the equipment at the position to be tested, and click a single measurement on the software to make a normal test. In SPIC 300, we have saved some testing data so it can be also open in computer software. Connect the device to the computer, find the folder where the device stores the test data on the computer, and copy the data. On the software, click the Data Manage menu, select Load Test File, select the copied file and open it to view the test data. Select the report to be printed in the data column 
and select File Print menu, it can be print the report. If you have any problems, please contact global service at everfine.net directly. Thank you for your patience.